brought you here because there is there is an assignment that is connected to you and that fire that grace go and restore go and restore he said they are taken for a prey and none said restore please help the ushers their hands may be full if there's any anyone on there the anointing close to you you don't have to wait for the ushers just help them so that we bring them in front very quickly the mantle of the restorer is falling on someone you may be a man of god you may be a prophet i don't know why god is starting with an impartation but again i release that grace i release that grace in the name of jesus christ go and restore there are destinies at the mercy of your grace go and restore go and restore go and restore some of you it may be your loved ones some of you it may be the people in your company don't allow witchcraft to keep destroying people whereas god has mandated that you will rise i decree and declare once again may that grace locate you the mantle of a restorer the mantle of a restorer you may be a man of god and you came here god brought you here to lift you in the name of jesus christ obtain that grace hallelujah hear me i'm sensing that the direction god is moving us tonight there are people god is isolating i'm hearing the word chosen like you have been selected among the crowd in many some of you in your family out of 10 people i'm hearing that word chosen bring them out chosen it's like there is a mantle that is selecting people for assignments strategic prophetic assignments bring them out please chosen this is what i'm hearing in my spirit chosen chosen predestined chosen oh you have been chosen you may not look like it but there is a, a grace upon you bring them out i'm saying it again you may not look like it but you have been chosen that mantle is looking for you that mantle is looking for you male and female apostle i may not be educated you are still chosen in the name of jesus christ chosen bring them out chosen by the spirit of god chosen by the spirit of grace chosen he told jeremiah do not say i am a child but everywhere i shall send you to you shall go and to whoever i shall instruct you you will say that which i've asked you to say i'm declaring by the spirit that mantle is still looking for people you are chosen you are chosen chosen by the spirit of god out of your family members out of different people you may not look like it but the grace is still on you The Bible says you are a chosen generation it calls you a royal priesthood it says you are a holy nation a peculiar people mandated to show forth the praises is the word doxazo of him who has called you out of darkness into his marvelous light into his marvelous light I'm seeing the number four and i'm hearing is an impartation for the prophetic the eyes of the seer four just four people i'm seeing that mantle is coming on you right now 
The eyes, help them please, my God. The eyes of the seer. I activate that prophetic. May that man to rest upon you. The eyes of the seer. Authentic manifestation of the prophetic. I set you on fire. I ignite your sight in the spirit. The number four, the prophetic. Probably someone came here to receive that grace. You came here crying for that manifestation. You need it for your life and ministry. I declare over you, may that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you now. Please don't be distracted. God is moving in the midst of his people. The prophetic, the prophetic, men and women together, men and women together. Some of you, this thing came, is, is even in your lineage, your physical lineage, but you are yet to carry that mantle. I release that grace, I release that grace. It comes upon you right now. Hallelujah. I'm hearing someone with the name favor. The Lord is saying it's time for your name to start speaking in your life. I don't know who that person is. Your name is favor. I'm declaring who is favor in the name of Jesus. Every shame and every reproach and everything that is not of God. I'm hearing the name favor and the Lord is saying it's time for your name to start speaking in your life. I prophesy over you in the name of Jesus Christ. Please make sure that this prophecy is for you. Don't just come out carelessly. I stretch my hands right now. The anointing that releases the grace upon your name. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Let favor follow you. In the morning, favor. In the afternoon, favor. In the night, favor. I release that grace upon you. In the name of Jesus Christ. I'm hearing a prophetic word. And God is speaking to someone. I would not say things like that except God to told me. Your destiny is in the United Kingdom. I don't know who that person is, but this is what God is saying. Your destiny is in the United Kingdom. Your destiny is in the United Kingdom. Just help them. It may not be easy, but please just manage them. Your destiny is in the United Kingdom. I, I don't know who that person is, but I'm speaking by the prophetic. How you will get there, you may not know, but I call upon the God of Jeshurun. Since he has spoken, I place grace upon your life and I move you by prophecy. Locate destiny, locate destiny, locate destiny right now. Listen, listen. I use this prophetic word as a point of contact. Anyone who is currently in a place that is not your assigned place of destiny, I relocate you to your place of destiny. I relocate you to your place of destiny. I'm saying it again. There may be a man of God. The reason why you are not succeeding is you are not in the place assigned. I relocate you to your place assigned. There is a location for every mantle. And Isaac sowed in that land. Not any land. That land. There are lands when you sow into you go down. He said, Abraham, come out of your father's house and out of your kindred to a land that I will show you. 
and in the obedience of your advancement I will make you a great nation I will make your name great there are many people the reason why you are grounded is because you are not discerning and hear me there are many people abroad whose destinies are not abroad they are suffering and wasting time greener pasture is not in a physical location greener pasture is in the voice of god anybody wrongly located across the globe i take you back to your place of destiny Can we release the grace for speed? why do we pray for speed most of you listen you must understand now here I want you to help the ushers there are thousands of people and there's only so much the ushers can do all right so um, especially if you are a worker in this ministry once it's time please help the ushers there's only so much they can do I promise that I was going to work with time do you know why I release the grace for speed because I have discovered listen to me there are two systems of advantage as far as dominion over time is concerned number one is restoration number two is speed these are the twin forces that help men to catch up in destiny for some of you many things have left you behind but i want to release that grace and when i please i want you to help them because people will start running and so i wanted to help them i stretch my hands by the mantle of the apostolic and the prophetic i decree and declare for every destiny that has been grounded i introduce to your life right now the grace for speed release receive it right now speed 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 receive that grace speed speed i command it i declare it i decree it over your life man of god speed businessman speed elijah receive speed in the name of jesus christ now i want to rebuke spirits for as long as i live no demonic spirit around my vicinity and over my people will survive. I, I already sense fire. Matesh Ali Kapa. At the count of three, I want you to shout the name Jesus. And every spirit that has oppressed your life is about to jump out of your life. Are you ready now? I decree and declare that at the count of three, every spirit, witchcraft, every manipulation, connected to bloodline you must let god's people go now are you ready one two three shout jesus lift your destinies now lift your destinies out of their lives now out of their destinies now please bring them out very quickly bring them out very quickly I decree and declare every foul spirit every unclean spirit is time for you to leave let God's people go now bring them out very quickly wicked spirits that will not allow destinies to go and praying again every spirit tying down anyone here any man any woman I'm saying it again at the count of three let the fire fall one two three shout Jesus let the fire fall let the fire fall 
Let the fire fall. 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 In the name of Jesus. Hello, Madonna. I will, I will say it again when it's time to prophesy. But I just had the opening of a key and I saw a door open. And I want to declare it. I don't know who that is for, but there is a strong grace that is coming upon you as I speak now. And you will be surprised to see doors open. Lord, as apareke to sekete bash, makebrake, help that lady. Doors be open now. Doors. Be open now. Doors be open now. Doors be open now. I have set before you an open door and no one can shut it. I say it again, it may not be for everybody, but for someone who have prayed, you have fasted in the name of Jesus Christ, my God and your God. I say it again, doors be open now. Doors be open. Doors be open. Doors be open. Doors of ministry, Amen. marital doors, Amen. fruitfulness doors, Amen. financial doors, a fata be open. Amen. Hallelujah. Who is Sylvester? I'm hearing a name, Sylvester. Who is that? Your name is Sylvester. What do you do, my friend? I want to pray for you. How long have you been in a medical practice? This will be my 10th year. Your 10th year. Are you planning to go abroad? I have been, I've been trying. Your season has come, your destiny. Listen to me. I will not call you out and tell you nonsense, my friend. I fear God, huh? But I'm telling you that there is a very supernatural manifestation of God's grace. Listen, in your practice, there is a height that God is going to take you to that will surprise you. Sylvester. There is someone, the power of God is coming on you. You are a lawyer. I'm seeing, because I'm seeing in a vision and I'm seeing that person wearing the, the uh, week for lawyers and I'm seeing the power of God rest upon you and the Lord is saying he's opening is a new season I don't know where that person is but right now you are a lawyer the power of God is resting upon you it's a new season do not look down on yourself that profession is your ministry and the hand of God is there Sylvester, I want to pray for you, all of you who are out. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare. Seven years, exactly. Please listen to the word before you come out. We have to hurry up. Seven years, you have been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Seven. I know there are many people, but this is seven. A woman, seven years. Is there someone like that? Let me pray for you right now, because I'm saying there is grace to declare over you. Sylvester, I stretch my hands, all of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, who is the helper of men. I decree and declare by the Spirit of the living God, the prophetic word that God has declared upon you, in the name of Jesus Christ, may that grace rest upon you now. May that grace rest upon you. Seven years. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. My dear, you see, God's word is not a suggestion. When God's word comes, it truly comes to bring liberty. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. Please make sure it's that specific word. I prophesy by the power of the Holy Spirit. And I declare like Elisha said to the Shunammite woman, according to the time of life, it doesn't matter how it has been before now. Now that your word has come, in the name of Jesus Christ, the spirit that is responsible for barrenness, the spirit that is responsible for loss of children, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. Are you standing for yourself, my dear? No, 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 no. This lady, you are standing for yourself. Yes, sir. Where is your husband? He's not here. Where is he? Where is home? Blue Bayside. Let the mercy of God speak over your marriage. Amen. Say amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. And every legal access the devil has over your home, I declare it broken now. Amen. Madam, this woman lifting her hands. Shout Jesus. Jesus! It's over completely. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I stretch my hands over these precious women and I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, whatever has been responsible for this barrenness, loss of children, we don't care what it is. We correct it right now. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands and I release grace upon you that according to the time of life, return with your miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen and amen. God bless you in Jesus name. Place your hand. Let me pray for the sick now. I just said place your hand and I just saw a thermometer go down. Every time I see that, that is high blood pressure. That's BP. There's someone you have suffered this demonic thing the power of God is coming on that person right now I'm seeing that the person is in this row you are somewhere al along this row I don't know who that person is the Holy Spirit is ministering to me that the person is somewhere along that row the power of God is coming on that person I assure you this visions don't lie the power of God is touching someone I saw a thermometer go down in the name of Jesus Christ please place your hand where you are trusting God for a miracle, I want to pray for the sick now. If it's your head, go ahead. If it's a blood condition, just lay your hands on your chest. If it's a part of your body you cannot touch, just make contact. Please believe in the healing ministry. Believe in the healing ministry. There's no reason to sit down and die for nothing. Believe in the healing ministry. Lay your hands, just keep it there. You sent your word and it healed my disease you are the lord my healer that he led me someone you are already having signs signs of rheumatoid arthritis I have to pray for you half of you you are already having a very serious I'm not a medical doctor I'm just describing what God is showing me a, a tingly feeling you know like like shock something your, your body is getting numb I want you to connect by faith and those who are it's incredible how many people connect to our miracle services from several hospitals and the testimonies that have come is very humbling and here is a chance again we thank god for doctors they are a symbol of god's mercy but in addition to that which they do 
we are connecting by faith to release the healing power of Jesus. I truly believe that Jesus heals. Lay your hands. What money cannot do, what doctors may not even be able to do, Jesus, the healer, is about to touch you right now. Keep your hands there. I want to minister the power of God. The power of God is just flowing right now and touching people. There are two people who are going to shout very loud. The moment that happens, the healing power of God will begin to flow. Honestly, I do not know why, but this is what God is ministering to me. Very loud shout. Two of them. The moment that happens, the healing power of Jesus will begin to flow. The redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. The saints and the angels bow. The redeemed worship you now. Holy, holy, holy are you, Lord. In the name of Jesus, I take authority over every devil, every unclean spirit that is responsible for sicknesses and infirmity by the power that raised Christ from the dead and by the blood of the eternal covenant, I declare right now, be healed in Jesus' name. Mm, miracles are happening. Be healed in Jesus' name. Be healed. The tears of your family. Hallelujah. There are many of you here who are victims of the realities of foundations and God wants to lift your family, not just you. Oh Joseph, the attack is not on you. The attack is on the deliverer who will save Egypt, Israel. It is not about you, Joseph. One day you will become the second in command. You will have access to preserving the destiny of a nation. Moses, it is not about you. Satan is too serious to fight individuals. He fights dreams. He fights prophetic programs. He fights mantles. Harashada Katabata. Oh prophet, hear me. The battle you are going through has nothing to do with you. It is a mantle that you are carrying. An apostolic and a prophetic mantle. Satan was there when prophecy was spoken over you. Satan was there when declarations were made. He was not angels alone. He was there. He had the declarations. Listen, did you ever ask why Satan kept moving through the scribes and the Pharisees to ask Jesus who he was? They met John the Baptist and said, are you that one? What was Satan looking for? He didn't say, why are you here? There, there was a person they were looking for. And John kept confusing them. Who are you? I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness, saying, repent, make straight his ways. And then Jesus comes. You know why Satan killed John? Because he knew the Jesus and he did not say it. When Jesus was finally ordained and commissioned, he ensured that like Jezebel wanted the head of Elijah, the head of John the Baptist went for it. I shared with you my visions. Years ago, I was praying one night and then the roof, the ceiling of my room just disappeared. And I'm seeing this creature that is standing before me, a giant creature looking like a dinosaur, having a tail that had its own life that could be disconnected from the creature and still be alive. Bulgy eyes. One eye was looking like the head of a man and he was looking with fierce anger and spoke fluently. 
so you think you can bring God's people into abundance I have met demons I have met spirits it is not only angels I have met I have met demons I have met spirits I can tell you one thing with the devil he's determined when he finds out that there is prophecy on your life when he finds out that you're opening the door is the rising of many get ready the king of Tyre he will wait for you Elijah there are bands of prophets waiting to come and frustrate you but thanks be to God which causes us always to triumph thanks be to God hear me the secret now is in Job 38 and verse 33 it says knowest thou the ordinances of heaven and canst thou establish the dominion thereof in the earth do you know the principles by which the mysteries by which the heaven regulates itself and can you reproduce that reality in the earth this is what Jesus meant when he said your kingdom come and your will be done capture the principles the modus operandi of the spirit and reproduce it within your life within your sphere and you truly will begin to walk like a God upon the earth Psalm 82 and verse 5 he says they know not neither will they understand they walk on in darkness and all the foundations of the earth are out of course verse 6 says I have said ye are God and all of you not some are children of the most high the next verse says but you shall die like mere men and fall like one of the princes I made up my mind that as far as it depends on me as far as it depends on me I will not only force those doors to open that everyone behind me it says I and the children that the Lord has given me we are for signs and for wonders you are not the only one who came from a bad background find out where Jesus came from Nathaniel said can anything good come out of Nazareth and Jesus did not say you are lying because the most popular Nazarene that they knew died in a very painful way the man called Samson that there was a spirit that followed great Nazarenes even though they were people who had a covenant with God and would just destroy them at the prime of their life Nathaniel said don't waste your time following Jesus there is something in his foundation his success will not last and Jesus sees such a man and says an Israelite indeed in whom there is no guile in other words from the sincerity of his heart what he's saying is true I know it is true that people who come from where you are from never rise beyond a certain threshold it is true until your access to the mysteries of the kingdom rewrites that script I know it is true that certain people never attain onto a level of wealth and abundance with a kingdom mindset it looks like the only way you live is by begging all the days of your life anointed but you are a beggar and so the spirit wants but you can arise and rewrite certain things rewrite certain things rewrite certain things every decree can change let me tell you the truth every decree can change even when Haman died the king had already stamped a decree that permitted the death of the Jews so the, the enemy had gone but the system was still going to cause their defeat and Esther came and told the king you are a king you are the one who wrote the first one you can write another decree again we change decrees by writing another decree who wrote the decree that you will not rise? I am also a king and a priest unto my God. And I can take the advantage of that king-priest dimension in partnership with the spirit and write that from this moment henceforth, everybody rises. That from this moment henceforth, everybody rises. That from this moment henceforth, God is glorified in everybody connected to me. Where the word of a king is, the Bible says, there is power. Hear me? If the power from your royalty does not speak, it means that your scepter of honor and authority has not been given to you. 
or the consecration that ordains you as a king is not there or you have refused to use your authority to declare but hear me oh david when the oil comes and the scepter comes and the crown comes you are king 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 kings declare by speaking kings rewrite things he said my heart is indicting a good matter yeah i speak of excellent things that my tongue is the pen of a ready writer i can rewrite possibilities in my life and in the lives of others ruach elohim ruach elohim ruach elohim Shabala Sodabana. in the next one minute I'd like you to begin to pray seriously in the spirit go ahead and begin to generate energy in your spirit man in the name of Jesus, overcome us by the blood of the Lamb. Lead us not into temptation, deliver us from evil. The evil that comes when doors open, the evil that comes when mantles come, the evil that comes when increase comes. Someone pray. Little Samuel too had a problem when he was hearing God. The man whose word never fell to the ground. A day came, he said, is it God or not God? Eli, I'm not sure. The Bible captures the story of his learning. But now look at Samuel. A man like a God upon the earth. Another man looks at him and his donkey starts going back home. What changed? 
a track record of consistency are you ready to pray diligence add diligence to everything that has happened an unbending resilience lord you have called me into the worship ministry even if nobody invites me i will continue writing songs lord they may not place a demand on my grace but i will continue i will give my best to it i will pay the price brothers and sisters i guarantee you this that looks like a simple message if you pay attention tonight you will wear life out until the gate is open for you lift your voice and begin to bless him pray in the spirit for a few minutes Egyptian 
because he was not strategic God took him God did not take away the assignment God showed him how he would do it it will be by a rod not a knife Moses you are called but you are using the wrong tools some of you you are called but the tools you are using is why you are failing you are called into business but the tools you are using you are called into ministry but how you were mentored is why things are not working the information given to you it is true that you are a deliverer you are called into the prophetic but the way they taught you the prophetic is why it looks like divination you were called into wealth and abundance but the person who mentored you may have been a greedy person and he made it look like the call to kingdom wealth is a call to materialism lord correct my strategy lift your voice and pray correct my strategy something is wrong not with the vision not with the assignment the strategy may be wrong lord correct my strategy there is a way i'm doing ministry that's why i'm not getting result it's not the call it's the strategy pray this prayer lord correct my prayer strategy correct my bible study strategy correct my leadership strategy something i know i'm missing something please pray tonight why is my church not growing why is my ministry not growing lord i don't doubt the call but i doubt the strategy correct the strategy listen listen Please look up everyone hear me tonight's meeting is very powerful for many of you you don't need to correct the vision you don't need to correct the assignment you are right but the strategy is what is making the result to not come the business you are in is correct but the strategy the ministry is correct but the strategy you were not supposed to have a church it was an evangelical outfit you went to open a church now nobody is bringing money for cheers let me tell you you are not free till the pattern is given to you the pattern is the strategy it says go and fill seven vessels with water that was the strategy go around Jericho that was the strategy walk on water is not enough to want a miracle Lord reveal the strategy for my result for my result result in ministry result in my spiritual life lift your voice and pray reveal the strategy reveal the strategy Hallelujah. Look up, please. We'll soon be done. I want us to pray over our finances. Look at me. Many of us here, this is where we really need God to come in. God has blessed you with all blessings. Right now, there are many of us, there's not much you can do with your finances. You are going to say, Lord, open my eyes. Where is my strategy? Not our strategy where is my strategy for ministry how do i finance ministry how do i finance my business lord i'm about to get married lord i'm married with three children what is the strategy lift up your voice and pray show me oh god every financial exploit comes with 
a solid strategy your ministry will never be financed until you receive a strategy your life and destiny may never be adequately financed until you receive a strategy what is the blueprint of God please pray koinonia don't take lightly this prayer Hallelujah. Listen, please look at me. When it was time to cross the Red Sea, the strategy for Moses was take your rod, stretch it. The river parted, the ground lifted. When it was time for Joshua to lead the people through, listen, the strategy was that the, the I think the, the, the priests, the, the, the Levites or so, went in front and then the Jordan parted when it was time for Jesus the strategy was not to part the water you would die there waiting for water to part whereas the strategy has changed the fact that God is not doing something the way he did it yesterday doesn't mean he's the is not the one doing it give us this day my strategy give me this day Lord the strategy that started ministry from zero to hundred I've exhausted it what is the strategy from hundred to one thousand what is the strategy Lord the strategy for my finances as a bachelor as a spinster I received it but now I'm married with three children what is the updated strategy for my daily bread Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Someone met me last week, a dear lovely man of God that I love so much. And he called, he said, Apostle, how are you doing it? You have been transporting people since Koinonia started. You are doing all of these things. You don't raise money. You don't do anything. You don't cajole. You don't invite preachers to raise. How do you do it? And I looked at him, I said, my brother, you must stay with God, not just to understand the call. Many of us, once you get the call, you just stand up and start running. No, the strategy is your advantage in any battle. Ask any military man. They call Operation ABC. That ABC is the strategy for the victory. If they say Operation this, the military people know that this is the formula we are using for the takeover strategy when we started i remember when god came and told me said son the last meeting for every month is dedicated for a miracle service it's a strategy you will just get up blindly and go and make the last meeting of your own program to a miracle service and not get any result because it is a strategy every strategy has an anointing on it you see us gather prayer requests here and i pray on it for Bishop Oyedeko, his strategy is the power of the spoken word. You may not see anybody fall down under the anointing while he is speaking. But the strategy is that he uses the creative word, power of the word. Or a robot, his strategy was to lay hands. He didn't just speak. If there were 1,000 people, or a robot will lay hands one by one. But if he touches you, be sure you are standing up. Strategy. For Benny Hinn is to worship very sensitive annoying worship sometimes he can tell everybody hush and you are saying what is this i remember once upon a time they had a program with archbishop benson idahosa and he was worshiping worshiping and one time idahosa came and collected the mic and said rain is coming and idahosa just started shouting and that's how people started getting healed because the strategies are different william branham will stand and say the angel that was assigned to him has not come and that's how he will wear those people there. William Branham will stand like a herbalist and say he's apologizing. Let the people be patient. And then at a point, he will just say, the angel has come. 
word of knowledge he will start moving in a strange way and people attacked him he said that's the blueprint that was given every man of god if he sits down and he's honest with you he will tell you the strategy there is how i know the power of god is ready to move i can't teach you i can teach you generically but there is a strategy it's like the palm of your hand is wired for your use as a man of god i cry to god i say lord what is the financial strategy for this ministry because this ministry will grow and now the the mass media that is supposed to be an avenue most churches raise finances a major part of the finance that runs ministry is from the media and now god is saying give the messages free don't sell anything imagine the hundreds of millions of naira that it would have brought and now it has gone lord you have to reveal it ah when he comes to you my god when my god comes to you he will tell you something that does not make sense but you are stupid enough to take it as a strategy you will join those who are clapping for you to wonder and say lord i fear you hallelujah yes. there is a strategy there is a way we do ministry here it's a strategy that god gave for dr lukoya is prayer he will raise prayer points and you will pray and while you are praying in that prayer the power of god is moving and touching people there are many people for papa Deboye, he will stand and in the calmness of his voice make a prophetic declaration and people will come for reverend dr uma Okpai, he will raise a song and while he's dancing and singing people are rising up don't copy strategies receive strategies Listen, I assure you, and I want you to hear me as we round up. Believe me when I tell you this, that you will never fail. You walk with these truths that I teach you. You walk with these things that I tell you. It is arrogant to unnecessarily tamper with the equations. Many people, they don't have results yet, but they tamper with the equations. Receive it with childlike faith. Don't let anybody tell you this thing doesn't matter. Do they have the results you are looking for? There are many proud people, and I say this with every sincerity of heart. There are many proud people without results who go around talking against people who have tremendous results. Love everybody, but don't give your ears to people who don't have results. You will become like them. No man can give what he doesn't have. Hallelujah. Can we pray one last prayer point? I want you to challenge the spirit of laziness, lukewarmness. Listen, it says, I would that thou were neither hot, I mean, either hot nor cold. I would, I desire. You are not diligent and you are not completely lazy. You are just somewhere in between. If you are very hot, I can make you hotter. If you are cold, I can know you are cold and help you. But you are dilly-dallying in the middle of nowhere. You are going to pray and cry that laziness, especially the spirit. Many of us sincerely, I love you and I don't mean to hurt or embarrass you. But many of us are extremely lazy. Lazy to a surprising degree, especially for a young man. Lord destroy laziness from my life lift your voice and pray financial laziness spiritual laziness intellectual laziness take it away from my life take it away from my life take it away from my life are you praying
diligence to study, diligence to be valuable. Hallelujah. Please permit me to add for us one more request. We are going to pray concerning this issue of value. I'm sure that by God's grace, I'll speak on it again for workers. But we are going to pray. Listen, listen, listen. If you are not valuable, Koinonia, listen to me. Those outside, those online, listen to me. No matter how you convince yourself, if you want to reign in today's world, what you have must be exceptional. If everybody has what you have, there is no space for you. Did you hear what I said? If everybody has, this is not about competition. If what you have can be given by another person, cheaper or freer, you are in trouble. You must trust God to brand you with a level of value that makes you so unique. No devil of poverty or failure or mediocrity or inferiority hangs around you. I told you that a man of God was praying for me one time. And he laid hands on my head and said, Father, create a problem in his region that only him will be able to solve. I thought, I, in my mind, I felt so bad because I said, I know, I'm somebody who is for the body. I don't like this thing of one person outshining others. What kind of prayer is this? But when I understood value, then I prayed that prayer. And I said, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, create something, oh God, for me. I thought it was a joke. There are many preachers, but there is one Joshua Selman. The same way there are many people, but there is one Ejimi. There is one, when we want to hear the voice of Sam, Amaka cannot sing like Sam. Sam cannot sing like Amaka. If we want to hear the strings, Elijah and the music director don't play the same thing. Listen when god makes you exceptionally valuable sit back and watch the power of the sabbath work in your life it will be like a jam the way men will run and come to you i tell you this thing i'm not lying to you take away your wrong mindset listen to me you want to prosper and rise in today's world is more than a job you need to master value in a way and manner and it will shut the mouth of darkness i look at my life today if you listen to what i'm teaching you my brothers and my sisters you will sit back and wonder and say what is this life is it will look unfair don't think it's happening just because he's called joshua selman it's not true it's a law can you pray that one prayer as we're ending i give you two three minutes find a corner and cry to god lord i'm not unique enough i'm grateful for what you have made me but I know there's something that you can put upon my life. That every time someone says Pastor Femi, every time someone says Pastor Alpha, I thank God for everybody but that uniqueness. Pray. Grant me the grace to be valuable. Hallelujah. Listen, your value is what brands you, is what identifies you as to whether you are rewardable or not. Pastor Lawrence is so good in the graphics. When you needed to, to write the names of School of Ministry students, as anointed as I am, you didn't come to meet me. Because with respect to that, I'm totally not valuable. It's not an insult, it's the truth. Tomorrow, when we want to cook for the workers, you are not going to meet Joshua Selman. Nobody has ever come to meet me for advice on cooking. As sincere as I am. You won't come because you don't consider me that valuable. Nobody has invited me today to sing praise and worship. 
Does it mean I cannot sing? But I'm not that valuable. There are many options. Why should you be picked when there are easy options to you? I vowed and I told God, I will never go and minister anywhere that they'll say, Mr. Man, thank you, this is your honorarium, go. And the next time they discuss, when they bring Joshua, they say, no, please, no, no way. I will never do that. So I pay the price in the word. I pay the price in prayer. I pay the price to know what to do and what not to do. That's the key. And it will bring you to to suck the breast of kings they will give you access to their treasures treasures that they would not even give their relatives and you will stand and wonder and say life can be this easy koinonia hear me if no one is looking for you it's because you are not valuable enough don't be angry take this truly if you are not valuable enough nobody will look for you are we together? Yes. There are people I've met in my life. It's amazing how as soon as I met them and discern their value, those who used to provide that area of value, they are, the doors of my favor towards them close immediately. There are people like that. Are we together? There are people who are doing one thing or the other for me. It's dangerous. If you are easily replaceable I say it again it is dangerous when you become easily replaceable that means in this life you will not amount to much the consequence is that you will be angry you will be resentful you will hate everyone that's why I'm an advocate for mastery you have to trust God for grace to know whatever is granted you grace to do and know it well if it means adding educational qualification to rise to that position of uniqueness do it if it means reorienting your mind even against what you study do it whatever price it takes to stand you out Paul, a man approved of God, you stand out. Not in a competitive way, but in a unique way that brands you. That's why I don't have enemies. I don't insult anybody. I don't fight anybody. I'm more than grateful to be me. I don't think it would have happened that way if I were not this valuable. If I were not the one behind all the mighty testimonies by the Spirit of God that this ministry enjoys, probably I would have joined the many people insulting others. Do you know when you have results you don't hate? It's true. It's true. There's no need for it. I live a very happy and peaceful life. That's why I love the body of Christ. I honor everyone. Resentment is a product of an awareness that a replacement is likely to happen to you. But when you stand in a position on part of, look at Benny Him. Benny Him is friends with him. He can bring any man of God to his program and talk with joy because we are talking of Benny Him here. By the privilege of the grace of God, Benny Him is Benny Him till he goes to be with the Lord. Kenneth Copeland is Kenneth Copeland. You can preach everything when Kenneth Copeland comes. He is Kenneth Copeland. God's system for faith. insecurity and competition and backbiting and all of these things happen when there is an intrinsic fear that a system of value higher than yours is within a vicinity so rather than fighting you trust God and say Lord lift me the popular hymn says Lord lift me up and let me stand huh? by faith on heaven's table land it says a higher plane than I found Lord set my feet on higher ground that's the prayer father we thank you for tonight I have spoken to your people addressing what may be the gap between them and their results and Lord I have spoken by your spirit as you have inspired me I ask tonight in the name of Jesus that these words will be spirit and life to the listeners Lord, as they subscribe to the laws of diligence, I pray that their results will come speedily. In the name of Jesus, that those who laugh at you now 
their tongues will cleave to the roof of their teeth because they will see the wonder working power of God in your life I pray for someone here who may be discouraged and is wondering Lord I've done my best I've done my best I speak a word of hope for you right now and I declare that you will have the last laugh in the name of Jesus that which you are doing by the Spirit will work for you it may take time but as surely as the Sun arises after a night time your result will come I pray for the grace to be strategic in your approach that you will not dissipate energy randomly and I pray for the fortitude to be sacrificial and that with pleasure in the name of Jesus Christ finally I pray for you that in the name of Jesus the grace and the ability to be tenacious and unbending the resolve to stay through may that grace be supplied you now in the name of Jesus Christ forever are we together my final statement before we pray listen carefully my final statement before we pray is to all those who look up to our lives for mentorship and for spiritual direction there are two things I want to tell you number one you must never allow the abundance of revelation that is coming to you to produce pride and disrespect nobody who has received from any man has the right to point hands at that man whether you appreciate the man or not the fact that they make contributions in your life you owe them your respect eternally and forever this is what the Bible teaches there are fathers of faith today even if they turn and say apostle just an example if a father of faith turns to them and say apostle I don't know this teach me I will teach them on my knees I will not teach them standing I will teach because we have grant, been granted grace but I will do it on my knees to remind them that even though God has granted us revelation you still remain fathers and we honor you as touching what you represent for some of the younger ministers coming please hear me it is not all about anointing it is not even all about character it is about understanding you must know how God's system and God's program works do not find yourself insulting somebody because of his advocacy of prosperity if you are in ignorance and you do not see the relevance of it just keep quiet and allow them serve the people God has called them to do if somebody is involved in deliverance and you do not believe in deliverance you just teach the truth that God has given you but don't go to the extent of tearing down another person and being sarcastic because number one you are wasting your time and number two that state is an attack itself the zenith of transformation is not knowledge the zenith of transformation is love if you claim you have been so transformed don't show me by the revelation that comes from you show me by the depth of love not pretentious love that ends on the stage love genuinely you may have your reservations about the body but that is not enough reason to hate and hear me one more time to the younger ministers that are rising please go back and edit the things we have taught you receive the things that are consistent with scripture and the things that we have taught you that is out of our pride or our insecurities politely edit them while you keep respecting us you don't need to tell us you have edited them your results will show that you have edited them are we together now can we do some prayers tonight rise up on your feet hold hands together I want you to still see this I'm going to use this example one last time and then we are done the Nigerian church this is God's goal for us unity is not uniformity there are people who need to repent they don't need transformation what they need is repentance it's as simple and honest as that there are people who need a lot of readjustment as far as character is concerned there are many people who need to make a lot of adjustments I have my reservations as far as the body of Christ is concerned based on the truth of scripture that I have seen based on history experience doctrine and mentorship however I will tell you 
it is too small a reason to point fingers koinonia you are part of this spiritual family you should be the last person to go about rejoicing over the downfall pointing hands at people comparing people to people you may go for a program in another church and you may hear the man of god teaching he may not give you a sound as as, as an exegesis as you may be receiving here but you must you must have the heart to open up yourself and to receive what you can receive if there is nothing to learn learn brotherly kindness let's assume that the whole revelation is zero learn brotherly kindness and that's it if you look for trouble in the church you will find it there if you look for imperfection you will find it there you look for moral flaws you will find it there you look for jealousy and bitterness you will find it there but for god's sake when you look for jesus in the midst of the seven lamb stands you will still see him standing protecting his bride with an unbending jealousy this is my message to the body of christ lord make us instruments of your peace where there is hatred let your love increase lord make us instruments of your peace the walls of pride and prejudice shall cease when we are your instrument whether it is a difference based on culture or a difference based on gender or a difference based on personality or a difference based on the modus operandi of ministry or business whether it's a difference based on political affiliation or a difference based on skin color whether it is a difference based on whatever biases none of those differences is strong enough to interrupt God's program when Jesus came to die he died for all of us when the Holy Ghost came he did not choose people he came for all of us we are all products of God's mercy and at every point in our lives and our faith adventure we will need the mercy of God I have taught you the mercy of God extensively the first prayer you are going to pray right now following or in this place is for yourself Lord in any way I have contributed to the destruction of the body of Christ I repent and I ask you for mercy open your mouth and begin to pray in any way I have joined the heads of men of God together carrying stories from pillar to post comparing churches comparing men of God no that is not our assignment someone open up your mouth and pray in any way insulting orthodox churches insulting pentecostal charismatic churches insulting prophetic and apostolic churches insulting churches that are rich in administration and excellence are you praying lord we repent we repent we repent hallelujah number two i want you to pray for the body of christ mention the name of any man of god you believe in and any man of god you know from your heart of hearts mention any church that you know and you believe in i want you to cry and say lord show mercy mercy and increase let your body remain strong open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray let it be from the depth of your heart that god will help us as the body of christ to grow and mature from this life of hatred and anger pointing hands at people and all these kinds of immaturities is someone praying
pray for that old pastor that raised you from an orthodox church now you have been filled with the holy ghost you are a revivalist and you are looking down on him pray and ask god to forgive you and pray that god will continue to help them pray for every denomination you know that the dimension of god committed to them that it will find expression and it will bless the body excellence administration moral excellence the anointing character influence discerning the body of christ hallelujah elijah was a very angry man for annoying elijah you pay the price by fire fire would come and consume you for interrupting him while he's resting elijah had some little children who were laughing at him and said are ah, you bald-headed man and he commanded using the power he carried he commanded animals she bears to come out from the wilderness and ate those children injured them can you imagine that so there was a generation who had been mentored by the Elijah's and Elisha's now they had become the disciples of Jesus and when other people were pointing hands at Jesus they say we remember history tells us how to deal with this kind of people should we call down fire and Jesus said do you not know what spirit you are of in other words I have come as an improvement to Elijah's and Elisha's while it used to be profitable to just kill now we have come with the ministry of love hallelujah I like you to pray right now and say every dimension that is invested in the body and is not yet at work in my life I receive by faith right now go ahead and pray every dimension made for my profiting scattered across the body of Christ that may not yet be at work in my life every genuine dimension scattered within the body and across the body that is that can make for my efficiency spiritually financially and otherwise in the name of Jesus I receive someone is praying hallelujah hallelujah when I travel across the regions of this nation especially I like to minister in non-denominational apostolic meetings that seem to converge the body of Christ together many times when I have the privilege and the honor of ministering to the body of Christ across those regions um, when God gives me the liberty I always like to call some of the fathers of faith to come to the front and to just speak over the body of Christ within that region I do that because I believe that number one they are veterans of the gospel and then number two they represent different dimensions it it does something to the mindset of the people please I repeat again do not find yourself fighting the body of Christ you have a right now and forever to have your reservations as a ministry I have a right to protect you from anything that I do not believe is healthy for your spiritual nourishment. I have a right to teach you that which is consistent for doctrine, reproof, correction, instruction in righteousness like the Bible says. But I do not have a right to turn and call anybody Beelzebub. No. That is not the jurisdiction of my ministry. If my ministry is light enough, I should not fear darkness. Is that true? There was darkness in the days of Jesus and yet the light of Jesus was so bright it threatened every darkness. The presence of fake men of God and fake prophets is not enough reason to derail the body. If your light is bright enough, the illumination that comes from that light 
I tell you the truth, can swallow every error. In the time of Jesus, there was error. In the time of Moses, there was error. The world has never been free of antichrist manifestations until Christ comes. So having people that walk in defiance to the true gospel is not news. But the Bible tells us in John 1, 5 that the light shineth in darkness. When we preach the true gospel and we mentor people properly, the rate of transformation and growth will far supersede any kind of fear we have. It is not the absence of darkness that will bring light. It is the illumination of light, even in the midst of darkness. Hallelujah. Can I give you a last prayer point? Father, the role I have to play, as far as the grace you have given me is concerned, I receive the grace and the courage to play that role. Open up your mouth and pray. Do not say they are anointed men and women of God. Do not say there are great business people. There is a role that you have to play. And if you do not play that role effectively, you will rob us from learning Christ through you. You will rob us from experiencing a dimension of Christ that has been invested into your life. Open up your mouth and pray. Pray from the depth of your heart. Pray from the depth of your heart. We used to sing a song years ago. Here's what the song says. I'll serve, I'll serve. I'll serve you, Lord, forever. I'll serve, I'll serve. I'll serve you, Lord, forever. I'll do my best, I'll do my best. I'll do my best for you with my entire life. I'll do my best, my very best. I'll do my best for you. That's our closing song tonight. I'll serve, I'll serve, I'll serve you, Lord, forever. I'll serve, I'll serve. The day we stand before Jesus, the son of the living God, he's not going to say, Joshua Selman, did you do everything? No. Did you do that which was committed to you? I gave you three people to raise and to train and to build. Were you faithful in it? No. I was around backbiting and being jealous and being angry that I was given only three people. Man of God, not all of us will have international ministries. Your job is not to be international. Your job is to be faithful. If God gives you 10 members, stay on them and raise them with all your heart. Listen, I need to douse the insecurity and the narrative that is creeping into the body of Christ. Once you do not have a large congregation, once you are not doing ministry across the globe, once you don't seem to have a global name, Apostle Joshua Selman, you might not be doing well. I have deconstructed this thought again and again. The day we stand before Jesus, you will be surprised where all of us will be standing on the queue. Some of the people you have neglected will be the ones standing close to him as far as the detailed accomplishment of the assignments are concerned. Anna the prophetess, stop looking for a crowd. Stay in the temple and pray Jesus to come. Let us stop some of this unhealthy comparison, wrong definitions and parameters that we use to measure ministry. There are people who are about losing their bishopric today. 
Everybody cannot be the Nathaniel Bassis and the Dunsins and all of that. No, everybody cannot be the Benny Hins, but you can be faithful where you are called and to do your very best. And whether he gave you five talents or two, you can be sure that you will still hear the same thing. Well done, thou good and faithful servant. This is what we desire. If God has called you to be a kingdom financier, stop trying to build branches. You will only multiply error in the body of Christ. Stay in your place of call and be faithful. Take advantage of the mercy of God. You are an intercessor. Give God your best. God has spread your tentacles to the nation. You must do it with the spirit of humility, not laughing at other people as though it were by your power. People have sent me numerous text messages about our UK conference. Massive, massive things God is doing. The number of people who have registered, I mean, it's we're in awe of what God has done. But I cannot look down on people to say, man of God, you who has, you are doing a small conference that just has three people and you laugh at them. Make sure you never find yourself doing that. Do not laugh at any man of God. They may hold a conference with five people that is made up of Billy Graham, Reinhard Bonke, E.W. Kenyon. Those are the five people you are laughing at. Whereas you are full of thousands of people who will tell you crucify him tomorrow. There are people, there's no man in your life to help you. You work for everything. It's a cost. Don't think you are making progress just because you have a job. It's a cost to not have helpers show up for you. There is a place called Zion and God can send help to men. We're a ministry that has been greatly helped by God. Do you believe that? We are going to pray. The next two to three minutes, I want you to pray. Listen. Anointing is not just a spiritual thing that lands on your head. No. An anointing is simply an impartation that opens a dimension of spiritual possibility. Please hear what I'm saying. An anointing does not do everything. Your request directs its operation. Are we together now? You don't just say, God anoint me. It's not a wise prayer. Father, everything is working in my life but this prosperity thing. Lord, I don't see helpers arise for me. I beg and I struggle for everything. I get in trouble and pay for it by myself. There is an anointing for exemption. Lord, I see that there is no influence in my life. You know the area you need grace for. I like you to pray like your heart will come out of your body. Cry for the dimension you must see in your life.
Alleluia. Alleluia. I'm going to give us three prayer points. I want you to pray it with fire. Because as you pray it, God will answer it. Number one. Father, the anointing for speed. The anointing for speed. That I will run. Everybody will see that this is speed. Release it upon me in the name of Jesus. Pray, pray, pray. Speed. Brothers and sisters, what you are receiving in this prayer will speak. I assure you, it will. It will. Please don't think God is playing games with you. We are not serving an idol. I show you a mystery that has made and is making my life. I know what I'm saying. Prayer point number two. Lord, multiply my results. Multiply my results. Lift your voice and pray. Multiply my results. Multiply my results. Financial results. Ministerial results. Multiply my results. Multiply my results. Oh God of heaven. Oh God of heaven. Oh God of heaven. Multiply my results. Multiply my results, multiply my influence, multiply my impact, multiply my knowledge, multiply my knowledge, multiply my business, multiply my time. man who wears this attire of masquerade. Some of us, where we come from, you know men who are also masquerade. There is a language they use. When you see men who are masquerade, they say they cook them. Abi, they say they cook the man. That's why he can speak. That's what is happening to you now. That, that thing that they say they cook a man. That you come out and it will be like charm is on you. That's what is happening. The last prayer point. Or at least the next one. Listen. People hear me. Hear me. I don't know how to beg you to pray this prayer point. But you've, you've heard me say it. I like you to call your helper. Listen. Koinonia, listen. 
until your helper shows up. You can remain in one position for decades. Listen, a helper is not a volunteer. A helper is a man anointed to rescue you. Listen, you may die and not be able to move to certain dimensions until a helper arises. Listen, listen. There are many families with no helpers. There are many lives with no helpers. There are people who need jobs, no helpers. Intelligence, no helpers. It's a prayer I pray every day. Listen, there is no helper that comes on his own accord. They are called. I have seen financial helpers in my life. I have seen all kinds of helpers. Any good information that can help Koinonia, they call me. Man of God, there is so and so. Have you considered it? Listen, you need them to move forward. Say in the name of Jesus. Shout it, Koinonia, in the name of Jesus. Tonight, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I speak to the spirit of my helpers. Share the word of the Lord. Show up in my life. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Yeah. everyone please listen we are still praying that prayer point hear me I know what helpers can do where a man shows up from nowhere and says I came to help you there is such a thing listen listen many ladies are married because a helper showed up Many people have gotten jobs. There are people, I have been a destiny helper to many people. I remember someone who was trusting God for promotion. And in a meeting, I met somebody who was like um, a representative of that company. And I called the person. I said, I know this person. Please, if there is any assistance they can render. Honestly, out of respect for me, that guy was promoted to a position that even surprised me help us. Somebody needs to talk to somebody about you. You can't talk to them. Say in the name of Jesus. Whoever needs to talk about me for my help to come, I release you to speak on my behalf. Go ahead and pray. Go ahead and pray. Oh, I release you. in now, you can't bring yourself out. It's not just by prayer and fasting. You need a human vessel to show up. We are going to pray. 
say in the name of Jesus, every mountain standing before me, every closed door standing before me, whoever holds the key, by prophecy, I call the person, open that door for me, lift your voice and pray, open that door. says verily very I say unto you if you have faith as small as a monster say he said thou shalt say to this mountain listen every challenge in your life has a spirit component to it we are soon rounding up but make sure you pray this prayer pray it with everything you have say in the name of Jesus every disappointment Every shame, every challenge in my life sponsored by hell, I declare that the powers behind those problems, you come on that judgment now, lift your voice and pray. Every power behind the disappointment in my life. many of us, God wants to bless you, but your heart has been closed, so you do not receive other blessings from the body. This prayer is going to open you up to the possibilities in the body. Say in the name of Jesus, I repent from criticizing the body. Say in the name of Jesus, my heart is open to every blessing every dimension every possibility in the body therefore I call every anointing every grace every mantle every unction required for my next level come upon my life begin to pray begin to pray every mantle
Accept your honor, the anointing. Please lay your hands on your head. I want to speak to you. Don't worry, instrumentalist, you can play. Exceeding. the horn of a unicorn and I am anointed with fresh oil my head is exalted like the horn of a unicorn and I am anointed with fresh oil listen he said, Thou anointest my head with oil. He does not anoint your cup. He anoints your head. Then something happens to your cup. There are three prophetic acts you are going to do tonight. Just be foolish to do what I'm asking you to do. Father, I stand upon this office in the name of that is above all. And I pray that everyone laying his hand on his head, let them be transparent as a fresh dimension of power and wisdom and favor. Stretch your hands towards me. Please. Please. I don't want you to come for koinonia and waste your time. Isaiah 48, verse 17. Please, quickly help us, media. Thus saith the Lord, thy Redeemer, the Holy One of Israel. Stretch your hands towards me. I am the Lord thy God, who teacheth thy hands to profit. Listen, the hand of a man represents his labor. It's the mystery that brings abundance. I want to pray for you. Many of you will enter dimensions of breakthrough 
by this prophetic act. In the name that is above all name, I stretch my hands out to you. Thank you, Hallelujah. The last prayer point. Please, if you can stand on your feet. The Bible says they know not, neither will they understand. Please listen. He told Abraham, he said, look eastward, southward, northward. He says, everywhere the sole of your feet treads upon. Listen. There is a mystery of dominion that men can hold firm grasp of territories and dimensions. I've taught you there are five elements upon which the supernatural finds expression. Number one is light. Number two, fire. Number three, wind. Number four, the earth. Are we together? One of the mysteries that we're using. Listen, the earth is a universal point of contact. No matter how high a building is, it must make contact with the earth. I want to pray for you. It's a very deep mystery. Very deep mystery. It's time for you to come into supernatural dimensions of influence. This is an impartation for influence. <laughs> listen, listen. When it was time, listen. When it was time for Jacob to bless his sons, he said, put your hand under my thigh. I'm about to speak to you and impart grace for influence. There is a grace. There is a grace. I pray for you. You are stepping upon the ground. I'm not speaking to you now. I speak to the earth. You have ears and you have doors. Hear the word of the Lord. I speak to you. According to the measure of grace that has been given to me. I pray in the name of Jesus. That every time your people are in trouble. For as long as the earth, their feet is upon the earth. Let the earth fight for them. Tell me. Job said in times of war, you will be exempted because you have made a covenant with the stone. I pray for you. For as long as your feet is on the ground, may no man be able to defeat you. 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 I pray for you. As you are stepping your feet on this ground, go where you could not go. Enter where you could not enter. The ocean and the grace for new territories, I release upon you now. I release upon you now. New territories in the spirit. New territories in finances. New territories of influence. New territories in the name of Jesus. New territories.
Give him all the praise. Someone blessing his name. Father, we bless you. We raise your banner high. We'll shine your light so bright. We'll sing in honor of you. We will raise your banner high. We'll shine your light so bright. We'll sing in honor of you. Bless his name for tonight, the doer of wonderful things. God in the midst of his people is mighty. Someone blessing him. Blessings and honor, glory and power be ascribed to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Now ask him for an encounter tonight. Father, let tonight be my night. You have come, visit me. Give me an encounter by your spirit. Let tonight's meeting culminate to my laughter, my joy, my restoration, my healing. The Bible says, Hitherto you have asked for nothing. It says, Ask and you will receive that your joy may be full. Someone is praying. I come with my heart full of faith, full of expectation. For in Jesus' mighty name we pray. You are going to pray and say, Lord, this is the season where you are changing his level, changing her level. Go ahead and prophesy. Prophesy. How great you are. How great you are. Oh, your level must change. How great you are. Koinonia, it's time for a new season. It's the season of the rain. Don't be a spectator. My financial level must change. My spiritual life must change. My change. The grace of God upon my life must move higher. I'm ready to obey. How great you are. Oh, oh, oh. How great you are. How great you are. Lift your hands and let me prophesy over your life. There is, see, for Koinonia, God is shifting us. I know it. I feel it. You can choose to believe it. You can sit down there and let other people just through the tapes. Or you can connect to the anointing and say, this is my season. I place a demand on everything that works in this house. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray. Let the spirit of faith, the capacity to obey God without reservation, the meekness, the childlikeness to obey God, let it be released upon your people. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I pray that as a result of this teaching tonight, let there be rain of testimonies. Let there be miracles upon miracles upon miracles. Financial miracles. Miracles of multiplied graces. Miracles of marriages. Miracles of breakthroughs. Miracles of favor. Miracle lifting. In the name of Jesus Christ. I, that the influence of the kingdom comes upon you in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ you will begin to command influence across your territory 
by the mystery of the oil of gladness let it take you above your fellows hallelujah i pray in the name of jesus that the mantle of honor that which makes men he said and jabez was more honorable than is for you in the name of jesus that beginning from tonight everywhere you go you will find men who will honor you in the name of jesus christ you will find men who will honor you i pray for everything that is placed i don't care what it is by the same power that raised christ from the dead I speak to everything that is dead in your life. I command it tonight. Come back to life. Dead academic situations. Come back to life now. Dead financial situations. Come back to life now. Dead family situations. Come back to life. Hear me. Whatever has covered your glory. And has stopped men from seeing the hand of God. I tear that veil into pieces in the name of Jesus Christ. That has stopped men from favoring you. They used to bless you, but something happened mysteriously. The same people are still around, but the blessings have stopped. I connect you by faith to that flow of the blessing. Christ. It's a season where you must bear fruit. I prophesy upon you. Be fruitful. Be fruitful. Multiply. In the name of Jesus. Replenish. I command that you subness. And every force of witchcraft. And every cause and every enchantment. And I prophesy to you. In the name of Jesus. Have dominion. Everywhere you go. Let there be an anointing on you. Anyone that comes under the jurisdiction of your influence, I compel them to bless you. I compel them to know you. In the name that is above all names, I command that a book of remembrance, Makato Toto Balakata, like Mordecai, whoever has done good and your 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 reward at night as you sleep in the heavenlies, let a book of remembrance be opened. May my God use strangers to bless you. May strangers to bring your business back to life. May my strangers to bless your family. And I pray for you. Greater levels of the anointing. You belong to a ministry that works in an ever increasing anointing. May that be at work in your life. I command that the level you are in the anointing, you have lingered yet for too long. Step up to a new level. Step up to a new level. A new level, a new level of the anointing of prophecy. A new level of the gifts of the spirit. In the name of Jesus, I release this power from here on stage upon this altar. I prophesy it. Let it touch you and let it change you in the name lord your people must bear result i command you be fruitful i command it be fruitful stood fruitful workers be fruitful in the name of jesus businessmen be fruitful everything that has refused to work i invoke the laws of the spirit in the name of jesus christ i command in a miracle things begin to work Whoever needs to call you this week, whoever needs to connect you, whoever needs to come to your business, whoever needs to give you a job, I prophesy in the name of the Lord Jesus, may my father bring them to you. Yeah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands and give him praise. Lift your hands and give him praise. Your life will never be the same. Hallelujah. Now very well standing all of you. There are people here inside and outside who are saying man of God. For me I need to reconnect with God. Either you have never truly made Jesus Lord of your life. Probably you were invited. Or coming here again and again. But you are saying enough is enough. I want to take God seriously. Some of you 
who have been here you love god but for some reason challenges and pressures push you and you push god out it's time to read it never will happen outside of christ never will happen in one minute we're out of time wherever you are as they begin to celebrate them please leave your seat inside and outside don't wait for anybody to start coming before you come leave your seat and come and say i want to truly get serious with jesus christ find your way quickly please save time they are coming from outside celebrate them Play the way for them celebrate them keep coming come and line up before jesus christ please as you come be very very serious be very very serious as you come out keep coming clap for them koinonia god is harvesting his people to change their stories say say no to the devil don't sit back there when you should be out you know the voice of god you can't pretend you are not hearing it you know the voice your way to the front please win that war in your life this is about your destiny forget about whoever knows you or who doesn't know you make your way to the front jesus is calling you for a new beginning the devil has been cheating you this is 2015 is the year of the rain you can't allow the devil to destroy your life again if there are still more people as i lead them to pray please make your way to the front it matters your relationship with god don't say it does not matter it's not just about um is permitted hallelujah let's hold hands together with someone by your left and right and in one minute let's just invest prayer into the uk conference just make declarations of faith while you are seated and for our family following from across the globe i like us to just declare in the name of jesus that it will be an outpouring indeed upon europe uk the neighboring nations we are coming in the name of the lord he said blessed is he who comes in the name of the lord that there will be a reign of salvation a reign of revival that mighty apostles and prophets and teachers and pastors men and women will be ignited with genuine apostolic fire in the name of jesus declare over the team living from here to the uk declare over delegates who are coming from all across the globe and many around and across europe who have traveled already and those who are on their way i'd like us to declare that it will be a seamless program no hassles no issues not with government not with law enforcement agents is someone praying the conference is everybody's business decree and declare pray over the workforce pray over the spiritual climate across manchester the uk and europe in general that in the name of jesus the fire that has been lost for many many years and decades that it will please the lord to use this conference to reignite again the sound of revival we are praying as the church of the lord jesus christ we are praying as a global family that in the name of jesus the son of the living god curses yokes foundational covenants that have bound people territories and nations would come to an end the power and influence broken over europe there will be an emergence of people young and old bearing that light and that fire of salvation and revival once again this we decree this we declare we agree by faith that in the name of jesus this will be our experience that this conference will answer to its name for in jesus mighty name we pray a veteran in business you are a veteran in ministry but for the next five minutes, I want to leave you here at Global Impact. I don't know whether it's a song you will sing. I don't know whether it's your tears that will do the singing. I don't know whether you will roll on the ground. But I want you to remember in one minute the goodness and the faithfulness of God. You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. 
You are good and your mercy is forever. Hallelujah. You are good and your mercy is forever. Go ahead and thank him. Don't be embarrassed. Let the world watch you worship him. That's how we rise in this kingdom. That's how we multiply. Oh, we acknowledge you, oh God, the doer of great things over Global Impact Church. Think about your life. Think about his lifting. When you didn't have a job, when you didn't have a spouse, when you didn't have a child, Majesty, your majesty, your grace has found me just as I am, empty handed but alive in your hands. Say majesty cry before your maker majesty majesty forever I am changed by your love in the presence of your majesty forever I am helped by your love in the presence of your majesty forever lifted by your love in the presence of your majesty you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor I just want to say thank you So in my life In my life Be glorified Be glorified In this house Be glorified Be glorified get the glory you get the praise you take the honor I just want to say thank you you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor I just want to say thank you go ahead don't be tired. You're not wasting your time. How can I be ashamed to tell the world you lifted me? I'll be here thanking you all of the days of my life. If God habaraka toshkele barata, if God built this church, May he build your reputation. May he build your influence. May he build your business. May he build your ministry. May he build your family. May he build your children. The building started and it did not finish. If God was Alpha, Omega over this house, then I declare, if he has started as Alpha in your life, may he also be Omega. Every uncompleted project in your life, physical building, relationships, destiny, ministry, the grace for completion, the finisher's anointing, may it rest upon you now.
the same way your pastor lived to see this project you will never start anything and leave it halfway in death now I speak to everything that has refused to grow in the name of Jesus one of the characteristics of living things is that they grow whatever has refused to grow I bow my knees before this altar and I command it grow now grow now for every door that needs to be opened every gate for your next level I speak to it a father be open now a father be open now gates of influence be open now gates of speed be open now gates of abundance be open now please rise up on your feet may it never be said you had a better yesterday and hear me please for everyone who has contributed in partnership with the Holy Spirit to make this project a reality I cannot but speak over your life everyone I know that people have labored in prayer people have sown seeds and are still sowing seeds into this project I stand in faith with Pastor Yemi David and his dear wife the leadership and in the name of Jesus under this corporate anointing we declare that hand that gave is the hand that will hold what multiplies in the mighty name of Jesus Christ father from today and forever may this church and everyone connected to this grace now and as many as the Lord will bring everything in and around your life begins to multiply exponential multiplication that the testimonies that will begin to be shared from this altar will be testimonies of strange multiplication in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ I have two minutes and I'm off the stage there are people here under the sound of my voice who are saying apostle I desire multiplication but I'm not even alive to myself I know that whilst attending this conference I have heard speaker after speaker but I know that I need Jesus Christ I do not want to just get things and at the end of my life lose my soul you came to church and those who are saying apostle I love Jesus but for some reason my life has gone haywire I do not want this conference to end without my life experience in order wherever you are we just have one minute for you we have to work with time please wherever you are I'm going to count one to five Jesus is speaking to you while we were worshiping for you he was saying the only way you will tell me thank you is to hand over your entire life to my influence wherever you are as I count one to five finally win that war I like you to run like there's fire on the mountain these two categories of people I like you to come and stand in front if you are coming run quickly one global impact are we celebrating salvation two run to Jesus don't allow anybody stop you three I give you my heart Lord I give you my heart I give you my soul keep coming don't be ashamed I live for you alone every breath that I take please don't kneel because of space have your way global impact starts with global harvest come and you who are following from any nation any center watching or will be watching by way of internet television hear the word of the Lord he is calling you to start a rich and a meaningful relationship from where you are 
you can begin a genuine relationship with Jesus. The Bible declares that if our hope is only in this life, it says we are of all men most miserable. You are here, you are still saying, Apostle, I'm not sure if I'm saved or not. Join them. If you are not sure, it's a sign that you are not saved. I appreciate all of you, my dear brothers and sisters. It's an honor to stand on behalf of Pastor Yemi Davids to receive you and welcome you to the kingdom and then to this family of faith. Now, very quickly, I want to lead you to make this noble decision. Look up, please, everybody. Let me have your attention. The Bible says, ye must be born again ye must be born again that after this encounter you will never forget this day you will write this day and for the rest of your life you will know and you will believe from your heart that you made jesus lord are you ready to pray that prayer please lift your right hand high to the heavens and i want you to say this after me you're not reciting a poem jesus the king and the savior is here say after me lord jesus some of you are crying don't be ashamed of your tears he's here for you say lord jesus I have heard your word I believe that you are Savior I believe you died for me I believe you rose again for my justification right now I declare that Jesus is my Savior is my Lord is my King I declare that I am a recipient of eternal life into my spirit. The power of sin, the power of Satan, the power of hell and the grave is broken over my life. I receive the abundance of grace, the gift of righteousness, and I declare that from today till forever, I am a child of God. Amen. Keep those hands lifted. Father, we thank you for this one. Father, we thank you for this one. Father, Jesus, don't let me have a going to be seated shortly but I'm seeing the number 34 there is a strong anointing coming on them those inside here please bring them out ushers right now I stretch my hands across the length and the breadth of this place inside outside the overflows 34 of them you are drinking of a strange grace bring them out take that grace now take that grace take that fire Bring them out. Shele parutasia, embrakato shelia. This is koinonia. Shila parus ke barutiasha. You are being shifted to dimensions in the spirit. Parus ke lebrende ke talias ke ba. Everyone pray in the spirit. Shele barakata ke ba. Rekete baruto skobadiata. Just bring only those in the main auditorium those in the overflows you can bring them to the front of your projector screens i shift you by prophecy new dimensions levels in the spirit dimensions in the spirit encounter grace encounter grace up the balcony encounter grace in the name of jesus a man can receive nothing except it is given unto him from the lord the spirit of the lord is asking me to prophesy speed for someone the days of delay shakata a grace is coming upon your destiny speed 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 by the spirit help them please by the spirit of the living god 
Please, whether you are an usher or not, help them. In the name of Jesus, the overflows, the basement, outside, I declare grace upon your destiny. Grace upon your destiny. Shetas kabaranto shelebahasya. If it's not by your spirit, kebaranto kebaranto. E prekete balaka pesi kabiri. Fire upon your destiny. New dimensions in the spirit. If it's not by your spirit, it's not by your spirit. Don't let me have, don't let me have it. Don't let me have it. Oh, if it's not in your presence. Hallelujah. We'll be seated shortly, but let me speak over a closed door over someone's life i'm doing this by the spirit tonight is not a miracle service but i stand by the rod of a higher priesthood and i decree and declare hear me in the name of jesus who is the christ of god that any door that has refused to open over your destiny i declare over it a father be open a father be open a father be open be open be open doors of ministry be open doors of power be open please open your mouth and begin to pray in the spirit everywhere open your mouth and begin to pray in the spirit inside outside those following online go ahead and pray in the spirit edify your spirit man this is koinonia the spirit pray in the spirit shake up aratos and abalakatos building up yourselves on your most holy faith building capacity in the spirit majesty shebeleke paradox shebaratos kebranda na baladamus shalabarakatos abrande kebaladaba just as I am in the presence of your majesty yeah. and forever to take by your love in the presence of your majesty majesty
and all those in front here before you go back to your seats i decree and declare that everything that represents captivity in your life comes to end now and that this grace you have contacted will speak again and again in your life in the name of jesus please go back to your seat if you can god bless you there is a woman here this is one two three four five years you've been trusting god for the fruit of the womb where is she hair of Samson grew back by the mercy of God I decree and declare that his mercy speaks to that issue now everything dead or dying in your life by this proclamation it jacks back to life now but like I always say there are two areas that are my main focus number one is your spiritual life number two is your finances let me speak over both in the name of jesus that the least among us here may you be as great as david that the least among us globally the global koinonia family may the least among us by grace be as great as david and even for the body of christ in the name of jesus christ may god begin to mature the saints across denominations across regions across nations in the name of jesus christ then i pray for your finances that when men say there is a casting down for you i decree and declare by the power of prophecy may you say there is a lifting up i want you to believe there is a grace for what i'm telling you i'm saying it again in the name of jesus anyone here who is in need of financial breakthroughs because of seasons in your life that you are in i stand by the god who has shown mercy that in the name of jesus may those doors be open speedily open speedily open speedily may my god touch the heart of men to bring treasures and blessings to you and let me pray over you whatever it is that you do the work that you do whether ministry your career business whatever it is in the name of jesus i empower it to begin to produce results in the name of jesus christ thank you heavenly father in jesus name i pray just a minute or two you can go ahead and celebrate jesus i want to make the altar call right now hallelujah everything happens in this kingdom because god designed a system seed time and harvest impartation spiritual growth and now salvation let's minimize movement as i make this altar call it is always my joy and delight to give people an opportunity who need jesus sincerely and desperately in their life the bible says the lord added daily to them as many as should be saved every time god's people come there are always those who are to be saved there are people here in this auditorium and all the overflows following by way of television and the internet you are saying apostle thank you so much i desire to begin this experience with god but i need the salvation of my soul or you are here you are saying apostle i love jesus but my life has gone haywire and i need restoration please make sure that you are not ashamed to say anyone is looking at me this is between you and the god of heaven wherever you are we have just one minute for you i want you to leave your seat right now and come and stand here everyone god bless you people are coming take that bold step and come to jesus god bless you as you come make sure you win that war you are rededicating your life to jesus you are making that decision god bless you they are coming are you celebrating them all the other the overflows you follow suit come to jesus he's able to give you a new beginning you can start afresh again apostle i want to come but i'm not sure i remember giving my heart to jesus but things have gone haywire can i join them you are most welcome very quickly join them he's able to save even to the uttermost he will give you a new beginning hallelujah
young and old keep coming hallelujah if you're joining them please hurry up i want to pray now thank you so much for all of you who have come to make this decision the bible says as many as would come to him he will in no wise despise thank you for the courage to make this glorious decision jesus said if you reject me before men or deny me before men that i would deny you before my father here's a chance for you to start afresh with jesus even if not anew he gives you room to start afresh thank you so much for coming i want you to lift your right hand if you will all of you who are here and those who are connecting by way of television and internet you can pray the same prayer the power of god is there to ensure that you become recipients of this glorious life say lord jesus say it again convincingly say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me i believe that you rose again for my justification right now you don't even know hallelujah i didn't know that this can be added to make this and he adds it and will spice up that meal and by the time you serve the guests you serve them with honor there are many of us the only thing in your destiny with respect to cooking like this is maybe rice salt and the pot ah, that's too ordinary for an extraordinary meal there are ingredients that you need to carry by the privilege of God's grace among the many who have been gifted in the body of Christ we have come as privileged stewards them that sell that if your heart is open to receive God can add glory and honor to that meal remember what I'm telling you now imagine someone serving you a meal and he says it is jollof rice or fried rice and all you see is rice salt and maybe oil Appa, is that a good meal even if the person kneels down to serve you for many of you that's what you have been serving the world that's why they've been ignoring you this is too common we have alternatives but in this conference that master chef is adding some adding something he said add to this add to this this one add to this this one he's adding to your sincerity wisdom to your wisdom character to your character fire now you carry these ingredients and anywhere and everywhere you go trophy multiplied so this is the kind of attitude that receives the attention of God sometimes this our arrogance before God is the reason why we don't receive anything let that man not think he will receive anything from the Lord I'm coming back to the heart of worship when it's all about you it's all about you Jesus I'm sorry Lord for the thing I made it when it's all about you it's all about you Jesus now in the next five minutes I don't know whether you will lie down whether you will stand up I leave you with your creator for the next five minutes let there be an outbreak of a genuine spirit of repentance a genuine manifestation of brokenness before God cry before your maker show me mercy God of heaven arise like the mighty God that you are please cry before him forget about who is by your left and right this is before your maker I cast the highest royalty I am undone before keep praying your royal majesty I cast my crown before the highest royalty 
I am undone before your glorious majesty truly cast my crown before the highest royalty I am undone before your glorious majesty I cast my heart before your glorious majesty I am undone before your glorious majesty go ahead and pray search my heart O God purify my motives restore me back to your presence it said cast not away your presence from me cast me not away from your presence take not your spirit from me restore 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 some of you pray restore back the joy of my salvation lord it was not like this from the 1980 1980 to 1990 it was not like this restore that fellowship restore that fellowship restore that fellowship restore my prayer life restore my word life restore my passion for the house of god restore my passion for you please pray five more minutes take over take over i have come to the end of myself take over take over i have come to the end of myself hallelujah hallelujah i have come to the end of myself hallelujah hallelujah i have come to the end of myself take over take over i have come to the end of myself please pray there are some of you by now you would have been a mighty vessel in the hand of god there are nations that are dying because the grace that should come upon your life your retrogression is making others go to hell find that flame back again lord i'm ready in 2022 i am ready here at this conference we can start again we can start again we can start again oh god of heaven we can start again the prodigal son said how many hired servants does my father have and i am here feeding with the swine he said i will arise and i will go to my father i will say father i have sinned against you and against heaven i am not worthy to be called your son take me as one of your slaves someone pray you are not praying as a couple you are not praying as a parent you are praying as one who has been purchased by the blood of jesus give me a new beginning oh god the psalmist said creating me a clean heart to renew a right spirit within me pray pray one more minute Someone is praying. It's time to win that war of destiny. Once and for all. There are many fathers here who have not stood up to their spiritual responsibility. 
you stood up to your financial responsibility to parenting responsibility but perhaps not your spiritual responsibility In the name of Jesus Christ mind that I was not going to waste my time roaming around earth stop wasting your time in jealousy in bitterness in competition and begin to focus on the matters of destiny and don't let the devil lie to you that you are small don't let the devil lie to you that you are young And begin to focus on the matters of destiny and don't let the devil lie to you that you are small stop wasting your time in jealousy in bitterness in competition and begin to focus on the matters of destiny and don't let the devil lie to you that you are small don't let the devil lie to you that you are young We'll sing one more hymn and then we'll stand. Stand up, stand up for Jesus. You know that hymn? Ye soldiers of the cross, lift up his royal banner. It must not suffer loss. From victory on to feet, his army shall he lead, till every foe is vanquished, and Christ is Lord indeed. Two prayer points. I'm going to leave you for the next two minutes our time is gone I don't know how you are going to cry before your God of heaven forget about whether I'm a preacher I'm a student fellowship president throw that one behind cry for your destiny in the next two or three minutes cry for your destiny please pray Please pray. Please pray. Answer these questions in prayer. Sheba katoska likete prandegetesh. It is good that a man bear his yoke in his youth. Let mercy find me tonight, O God. Someone is praying. Who am I? Where am I from? Why am I here? What can I do? And more importantly, where am I going when this life is over? Five questions you must ask and you must answer. To live a life of meaning and a life of purpose. One more minute. Cry before the God of heaven. Someone is praying. 
as you pray remember your generation they are looking up to you as you are praying may God open your eyes to see the crusade crowd that is waiting for you when you develop that gifting of God see the hospitals that you will build as a result of living a purposeful life see the lives that will say thank you that you were born seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses let us lay aside every weight and the sin that doth easily beset us and to run with perseverance the race that is set before us for you come and do what you do we are here for you come and lift the way that you lift set our hearts on you so you'll do what you do we need a move this is a move this is the future of four square praying and remaining hallelujah hallelujah the last prayer point and i speak over your life father I receive the grace not to fail my generation I receive that grace whatever it will take I obtain grace I obtain grace if it takes prayer I will pray if it takes fasting I will fast if it takes studying the word I will study Lord, I will not fail my generation in business, in politics, in ministry, in family. Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.